you've had injuries on and off virtually your whole career. You know, what's it been like to, you know, stay relatively healthy this season and get to make some plays? Uh, no, it's just a blessing, you know. Uh, you never know when you can go down. So it's just, really, I'm just thankful to be, be back out there with my guys in my last year. So just thankful to get the opportunity. Walk us through that spin move on Saturday. Hey, it was just, it just happened, you know. It's, uh, we practice things like that every day, but when it happens, it happens. It just, it's almost second nature. Dor mentioned on, uh, uh, yes, excuse my news yesterday. Uh, we all were looking at some of that game tape, looking at that spin move. A lot of guys are really cheering. Like, hey, look at the markets. Uh, so what does it mean to have that level of camaraderie in this locker room at, at this point in the season where guys are really flowing with each other like that? Yeah, yeah. Just, uh, just being together has us, we actually feed off of, uh, I feed off other guys making plays. So it's just like, it's more of a, we're happy to see each other just, just be successful, you know, try to get a groove on these last few games. You've played a bunch of different roles this fall, whether it's blocking or taking handoffs in the back. You know, just um, what have you enjoyed about this season? Uh, just mainly just making it this far. You know, like you said, um, I had injuries uh, last year, but um, really just I'm just thankful. You know, just to be able to do do what I can do. I do whatever they ask of me. You know, I just it doesn't matter what it is. Uh, if they ask me to go play linebacker for a snap. I go do my best. You know. <laughs> what is it like to have two members of your family here? Um, it's it's phenomenal. Uh, just being able to have uh, just blood here, you know. Just uh, being able to be around them every day. People I grew up with. How has Isaiah kind of made things a little different, having a a younger teammate who's also a relative? Mm -hmm. So uh, actually, when we were younger, we uh, he hung around uh, me and another older cousin of his. So it's almost like having my little brother here. You know, I try to try to do better. Try to have a great attitude every day. Just show him show him what it's like to. Uh, finally get old, you know, <laughs> but I also encourage him to stay as young as possible. Last year, guys <clears throat> came out of the open day, ran the table, mm -hmm. won five in a row. Does that give the returning players confidence that you can match that and do it again? Uh, it definitely does. It's also that we got to make sure that we take, take it day by day, not get ahead of ourselves, because that was last year, you know, just come out with the same mentality that we do every game and just, uh, just take it day by day. You've been here for a long time. Mm -hmm. What has this program meant to you as you know, just as a human being. Uh, it means a lot. You know, I walked on here. Uh, I started out as a walk-on, earned a scholarship. So, like, it's just a blessing to be able to play in my home, my hometown from Wendell, not too far from here, just a uh, country boy. So just being around here at a blue college school, you know, it's just a blessing. How much do you embrace the mentorship role? I mean, every it seems like every time you talk to a young running back, they throw out to Marcus Jones as a big influence, it's not just on the field, but adjusting to college life, playing college ball. What does that mean to you? You know, to finally be in it, it's crazy. You know, I used to look at the older guys and, be like, I'll never be that old, you know. But uh, really, it's just I try to uh, be the same person every day, try to make them laugh and let them know that it's still a game to be played at a young age, you know. Just just enjoy it. You know, there's going to be ups and downs, so just enjoy enjoy it all. Embrace the journey. You know, and, and, uh, they show a lot of different looks, uh, blitz-wise. So we got to be on our P's and Q's. Uh, they force a lot of turnovers. we got to make sure we uh, protect the ball and just attack them head on. In college, you have the rivalry games with Duke and UNC. You also had rivalry games, I'm sure, between Wake Forest, Heritage, and Roseville in high school. What's in the water in that area of the state, and do you have a favorite memory from that rivalry? Uh, really, I don't know. I, I personally think North Carolina football is the best football in the country. Um, and you said the rivalry in high school or college? Well, just in high school. I mean, you had those three yeah. schools like you do the three triangle um, schools in college. Yeah, I mean, um, it's a lot of... We're all friends outside of it, you know, when we play, it's almost like, it looks like bad blood, but at the end of the day, we still, you know, we still talk to each other outside of it. So it's just, we go out there and just uh, honestly give it our best shot. Y'all uh, could earn bowl eligibility this week. Is that something you're actively thinking about or just let's get out of this with a win? Um, yeah, I'm trying to, we're trying to take it day by day. Of course, that's in the, that's in the back of our mind, but uh, we also want to just win out and not focus on the future.